Hello everybody, welcome back to Crack and Packs MTG. I'm Matt. We're here today with a bunch of these Walmart slash MJ Holdings Commander Deck Booster Pack Cubes. Um, I went to five different Walmarts to locate all these and I'm not hoarding them all for myself. I've got a big Facebook group and um, you know, these are going out to people in my Facebook group. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. That gets you in on the giveaways. We're almost to 11,000 subscribers. We're roughly 75 away. Once we get there, I'm giving away a booster box. Also, there's some affiliate links in the description below. One for Magnolia Gaming. That way, if you're looking for some Modern Horizons 2 or Flesh and Blood Monarch, check those links out. Um, helps the channel out ever so slightly. Uh, this We pre-randomized these spots last night on a live stream. Um, Jamil or Expo got the first one. Uh, you may remember he has his own YouTube channel, Cardboard Real Estate. So if you want to go check it out, I'm going to try not to spoil the commander deck. All right, let's, uh, I kind of did spoil the commander deck. It's okay though. We're going to open his booster packs. Uh, got a War of the Spark and a Core Set 19. Core Set 19 lately has been, uh, there's quite a few cards in it that are, that are valuable now. Uh, for the longest time, the most expensive card in it was the uh, outside of the Mythics wasn't uncommon. So, times have changed. Let's see, Ashiok, not a bad uncommon, and a Dread Horde Invasion. And then we have the 19 booster pack. Let's see if we can get a uh, Crucible of Worlds or Nickel Bolas. That would be a pretty decent hit out of these. Sun Cleanser, not going to get there. And you can see, oh, we got a promo. Ooh, a, a Jace Arcane Strategist. Very nice. And then here is our Commander deck. This is a Commander 19 deck. I believe this is the one that comes with Dockside Extortionist. I could be wrong. Um, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not. But this way, and I'm actually going to, you know, I'm going to leave these sealed just for shipping sake. You know, we kind of can tell what is in here. Commander 19, Savine. So, Jamil, that will be yours. Let's throw your cards in here as well. And then I will label it just for... There we go. All right. Maybe I should open the decks. I don't know. I feel like that will be a mess and complicate shipping, though. Huh. It's a conundrum. This one is for body count, or Jason, depending on, uh, let's see, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to not spoil the, the, the deck that's here. All right, hiding it with my hand a little bit, hiding it with my hand. All right, let's open his packs. Let's start with a Sparky pack. Let's go there. So we're only a couple weeks away from Modern Horizons 2. There have been some absolute... Insane spoiler so far. Um, I wonder if there's still still stuff that's going to blow our mind. Ooh, Obnixilis and a Parhelion too. That's a beefy boy. I wonder if there's going to be a, you know, right now it's all about the squirrels and all about the guy that makes Black Lotus tokens, which is pretty insane if you ask me. But uh, I think there's some stuff coming that's going to blow our minds. Uh, Scape Shift, okay. That's a nice little 19 pack. Heck yeah. We'll take it. Let's leave her up. Uh, this one didn't come with a promo like Jamil's did, but this does have Aminatu. This is a really, I think this is a good deck here. Commander 18. Um, and the plastic wrap. Cool. We'll roll with it. So hope, hopefully you guys won't beat me up too bad for not opening these uh, these decks completely to show them off. If you do, I'll, I'll accept it. All right. Um, third one up is going to be Jordan. Let me label that one. That way we don't get them mixed up. So let's see what Jordan gets. Ideally, everybody is uh, chasing the Ur Dragon or Edgar Markov. We've seen a few of those. So maybe out of ten, we'll get one or two of them. Worst case, you get a you get a commander deck and a couple booster packs. So 
This one has the Ixalan pack in it. Ixalan is kind of a, uh, it's aging like a fine wine. Only at three years old now. Reliquary Tower, nice and common. And an Alpine Moon. I saw a little bit of play at the end of that standard season. And you can tell, like, I don't, let me see if I'm wrong. You see how this pack is sealed a little bit differently? That typically means it's a made in Belgium pack. It is. Look at there, made in Belgium. That, that's, that's how you know you've opened too many packs. Is we, when you can tell just how the pack is sealed, where it came from. The card is completely different. It's glossier. It uh, has a smoother finish to it. And a Bishop of Rebirth, a Forest, and a Foil Spell Pierce. Not terrible. And let's see what Commander deck is in here. This is a Commander 19 deck. It is Gearid Conclave Exile. A little rip in the wrapper there. Not, not too bad. But, uh, interesting. Okay. So that one is for Jordan. This is going to be, looks like it's going to be a little bit of a long video, guys. I apologize. Um, hopefully it doesn't get too boring. And like I said, you know, that's one of the reasons I'm not going to open each one of the decks and flip through it. Just for time's sake. And, and you know, I've got to ship these out to everybody. So this one is for Isaiah. Let's not spoil. There, let's do it like this. Okay. There we go. I'm going to start off with a little bit of War of the Spark. We've been opening some Japanese War of the Spark in the, the Facebook group lately. And the past two boxes we've opened have both had an alternate Japanese Liliana in it. So that's pretty exciting. Watley, Plain Wide Celebration. Core 19. I'd like to have a couple boxes of Core 19 now, just, just for fun. Miss Collar, nothing crazy. Let's see what the commander, I don't even know what the commander deck is because I, this is a 19 deck, Kadena Slinking Sorcerer. So I'm gonna assume most of these are gonna be commander 19 decks. If I had to do an educated guess. Probably a few 18s sprinkled in. I don't know if they'd put any 20s in here. Don't know if that would happen. All right. My man Aristotle is up. Let's see how you do. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. It's, it's a little it's a little different from, from what I typically do. Um, Ixalan. But I just thought it'd be interesting. I was able to grab a couple of these. Um, a lot of the people in the Facebook group weren't able to get them, so kind of did it for them. And, ooh, a Jace, Cunning Castaway. Okay. I don't think he's terribly valuable, but we will uh, we'll sleeve him up. Jace the Pirate. So this looks like it's probably going to push on up towards a pretty close to a 20 minute video if I had to guess. Spit Flame, Spark Tongue Dragon. And this looks like it might be a repeat. It is, it's a Savine the Chronoclasm Commander 19 deck. And again, maybe the one with Dockside Extortionist in it. So that's actually probably a pretty good deck to, uh, to pull out of these if you don't pull one of the higher value ones. Because I think at least with the Extortionist you probably break even. All right, next up is Josh G. I don't know if I, there we go. Plus you get this nifty little storage cube. For some, for some reason, people really like these cubes. All right, let's do it this way. Ooh, this one may be a good one because the back of it is, uh, doesn't have a, uh, you can tell it doesn't have a token or a uh, rules card. So we'll see what we get for Josh. Interesting. All right, let's open this Ixalan pack. I'm kind of excited to see what this one is. Duress. Charter course, Bishop of Rebirth. Did we already get a Bishop of Rebirth? 
Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. Revitalize. Gearsmith Guardian. Blanchwood Armor's always been good. And another Alpine Moon. Lots of dupes so far. Let's see what this Commander deck is, though. I'm really... Ooh, it's a Commander 15 deck. Wow! But what is it? What deck is this? What could it be? Do I open it? I think I think I think we have to open this to see what it is. A Commander 15. Wow, wow, wow. I'm really really excited about this one. Wow, 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 wow. Sorry I said wow a lot, but I'm just that excited. All right, there's a ton of ton of tokens in this one. Okay. Where's the gas at? Is it back here? No, that's lands. That's lands. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm confused. I'm not familiar with the Commander 15 decks. There we have a Soul Ring, a Wafer's Bobble, Light and Greaves, all Commander staples. Signet, Thought Vessel. Pretty excited here. Daxos, there we go. Karlov, Tesa, wow, she's pretty. Interesting. So, got in the comments. Tell me what. Uh, tell me what deck this is. Karmic Justice, Phyrexian Arena. This is a good one for sure. Or it feels good. I know I know Phyrexian Arena's beef. Open the vaults. Man, so many rares. Wow. Alright, guys. I kinda hate I opened this one, but I had to I had to know what was in it. I had to. Let me uh Let me put it in here. So that's a Commander 15 deck. Has some uh, looks like it has some the uh, some Theros cards in it. So Josh, congratulations on that. Cool stuff. All right, Jesse, you're up, or we like to call her J Bone in the group. Okay, there we go. War of the Spark and a Core 19 pack. Sorry guys, I got a little little uh, little little off off the path there after opening that Commander 15 deck. Didn't expect that at all. Dreadhorde Invasion again. Herald of the Dreadhorde. So we've double tapped three three rares out of the uh, the small sample size of packs we've we've opened here. That's uh, that's crazy. Reliquary Tower, Mystic Archaeologist, nothing crazy, and J Bones Commander deck. Oh, <laughs> Lord Windgrace. This is a good one, right? Commander eighteen. Hell yeah. That's what's up. Or I may be wrong. It may not be a good one, but I'm excited. That's all that matters. Congrats, Jess. I'm just going with it, man. I'm ex I'm just I'm just excited to be opening these. All right, this is Nick. So good luck to you, sir. You have Ixalan and a 19 pack. We'll open a 19 pack first this time just because I've got it in my hands. Encyclopedia? Ooh, Pallet of Moors. And a Foil Graveyard Marshal. That's a nice little pack. We have an Ixalan pack left to go.
So I really appreciate all you guys watching my content. I, I never in a million years thought I would be sitting here on the uh, the edge of 11,000 subscribers. Drowned Catacombs. Two nice packs for Nick. So, uh, you know, each and every video you guys watch, I really, I love, I love each and every one of you for it. Nick is going to get a 19 deck. It's Kadena, the Slinking Sorcerer. So there we go. He did, he did get some decent packs, so we, we will give him that. I'll sleeve, I'll sleeve those rares in just a minute. Only two left. Appreciate you guys sticking with me thus far. This is for Christina or Lo-Fi Vibes. You've seen me open stuff for her before. She's one of the mods in the group. So if you want to get in the Facebook group, of course, you have to go through her first. She makes sure you answer the questions. There's three questions you have to answer. I don't even remember what they are anymore, but they are questions. So Christina is going to get a War of the Spark pack. If we get another Dread Horde invasion out of this, I'm going to, I'm going to call shenanigans. Command the Dread Horde. It was close. Had Dread Horde in the name. Now we go for the 19 pack. Skeleton art. These are these are a little bit stuck together. Just got, I don't know what's going on there. Especially these. Interesting. How does that happen? Oh, well, I, you know, for a second, I was kind of concerned with them being repacks. Um, because this is MJ Holdings uh, product, but we rip a Tezzeret out of the pack that was sticky. So, um, I'm going to say we're okay there. Nice Tezzy hit. And I think we got a repeat on the deck. We do. It's another Kadena Slinking Sorcerer deck. Unfortunately, but we did get a get a or th that might you know might be happy with that deck. I know it's probably not one of the most valuable ones, but you did get a Tezzeret with a commander deck. All right, Matt M, you were up last. So far, the only thing that wasn't a 19 deck was the 15 deck that we pulled um, for Josh, and then the Lord Lord Wingrace that we pulled for. Chess. So these are for Matt. Let's open it up and see. Skilled Animator. I really like this card. Sarkins and Ceiling. That card actually, uh, last time I checked, it was worth like a buck or two. More of the Spark. We're about to end the video. Like I said, please like the video. Like, ooh, Nissa, please, please like the video. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost eleven thousand. When I hit it, I'll give a booster box away to somebody. Please use the affiliate links in the description. Magnolia Gaming, Amazon. If you have no other choice, they help the channel ever so slightly. And Matt's commander deck is going to be. It's another Lord Wing Grace. Heck yeah! Thank you for joining me, guys. I love your faces. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.